In April of last year, former champion boxer Ami Khan was robbed alongside his wife for a £70,000 watch as he left the restaurant in Leighton, East London. CCTV footage shows the boxer being held at gunpoint as he went out to enjoy time with his family. They were approached by the two men that stole the Frank Muller watch and his wife was seen talking to restaurant staff before they left the premises. This week, two men have been convicted for robbing Amir Khan of his watch in Leighton last April. Dante Campbell, 20 years old, from North London, was found guilty and also Ahmed Banner and he was also found guilty of an imitation firearm. Detective Constable Stuart Ponder from the Flying Squad said the robbery was carefully planned and executed by the individuals who knew exactly who they were targeting and what they were trying to get. Despite being on a busy street and members of the public close by, they had no worries brandishing a firearm and threatening extreme violence towards the victim. The robbery had a massive impact on Amir and he said in an interview that he thought his children were going to grow up without a father. It was revealed in court they left the restaurant about 9pm and crossed the road to get inside their car. As they went towards the vehicle, they was approached by Campbell who shouted, take off the watch. Mr Khan handed over the watch and the men ran back towards their car before fleeing away. The Metropolitan Police launched an investigation and an extensive examination of CCTV was carried out. This identified the robbers as arriving in a silver Mercedes that pulled in front of Mr Khan's car just before the attack. Inquiry showed that the car was registered to Ahmed Banner, one of the defendants, and he remained in the vehicle and acted as the getaway driver. They was able to identify Dante Campbell after they arrested Ahmed. When the police raided Campbell's property, they found clothing and also a backpack that was used during the robbery and seen on CCTV by the gunman. This was enough evidence in order to convict the pair for robbing the former champion boxer. So thankfully nobody was seriously injured in this and it's definitely a big reminder of how wearing a watch in a very normal place like Leighton on, on the high street is very dangerous and you will draw the attention of people that will wish to take it from you. So all the best for Amia and all, also his family and I really appreciate you joining me today. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. It's upsetting because you, know, you don't know how it feels being in a situation like that. You've never been in it, and I pray you never are in it. But everyone has a lot to say, and I'll say one thing. No one's a gangster when there's a gun put to your head. No one. So it'd be really nice to sometimes keep your judgmental comments to yourself um, and stop putting someone down when they're already down, you know? Um, also, I'm reading comments about how I reacted at the time in the situation. First of all, you see two guns pointing at you right? There's nothing you can do. You're helpless. Like, nothing at all can be done. I can't fight gunmen for Amir. I can't get in front of Amir and get shot. This is in Romeo and Juliet. Um, the, at that time, the best thing for me to do is think of my family. I have three children and run and get help. That's it. You know, that's the best thing I can do at the time and the smartest thing I thought I could do, you know? Um, luckily, one of the managers did come running out helping and a few other guys did. Um, and I don't even blame some of the guys that were watching the scene because there was a gun there. You know, there's only so much they can do. They have a family. Um, I don't expect them to come and run. I mean, the most I can expect them to do is call the police. But you really can't say anyone at the situation to be handling it any other way. Be um, and lastly, you know, you earn your money to buy nice things you want to show them off and you deserve to because you work so hard for it um you don't think there's jealous people out there there's evil people out there they want they don't i mean a lot of people aren't happy with what you have and they envy it you know and um then you have these um, most important thing is i'm back home with my kids we're safe and um yeah that's it you move on with life and you're just smarter it is traumatizing. I do think about it, you know, every night, like, when I sleep, I'm like, oh, shoot, like, what if this happened or what if that happened? What would happen to my kids, you know? Um, but definitely, definitely, it's a big wake-up call.